So, hey guys, welcome to Comic Gaming. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. Good job. We have cookies. And milk. Might be semen, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright guys, so what we've got here is DreamWorks Voltron Legendary Defender. It's an oversized action figure. It does not come apart. It does not have the separate lines. It is battle damaged, as you can see here. Hold it right there! It does have sounds. Now, we will destroy you. He comes with Voltron's shield, blazing sword, as well as a missile which Green Lion can shoot out of his mouth. This is the ultimate Voltron. Here's the back, as you can see here, it's got the description on the back of Voltron, Defender of the Universe. 15 plus phrases and sound effects. Uh, he lights up, ultimate posability, and uh, as I said, fire the Green Lion's laser. Once again, it is from Playmates Toys. This was a $40 figure. Uh, which has this, which is the same price as Black Lion. I purchased the Black Lion uh, a few weeks ago from Walmart. I got the uh, Ultimate Voltron from Target today. And like I said, both figures, both toys were about the same cost. Uh, Black Lion has quite a bit of articulation. I went over a review on that on Comageddon. So if you'd like to see the review of the Black Lion figure, go ahead and head over to uh, Comageddon. Um, I will be doing a review on Ultimate Voltron out of the box over on Comageddon later today. Uh, so you'll be able to check that out probably um, probably tomorrow. Let's see, it does ages it. Uh, Volt, Ultimate Voltron is for ages 4 and up. Um, there's not really a lot more I can say about it. Uh, I'm really excited to get it out of the package. Um, start posing around, find out how much articulation he actually has. And then stand him on my shelf next to Black Lion. I had to settle for the Ultimate Voltron like I said before. Because everyone is selling out of the individual lion. Uh, I was very lucky to be able to find Black Lion because after I got him, it, almost immediately, they began selling out. Uh, in fact, we went back to Walmart yesterday. There wasn't a single Black Lion figure anywhere. And I always, I've always loved Voltron. I had a Black Lion figure as a kid from the 80s Voltron series. Um, I lo ended up losing him somehow. I had the, uh, I had Hunk and Pidge of the, um, pilot action figures. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I've, I've been really excited that this new Voltron series has come out. It makes the lions a little bit more affordable because if you look online, you find the older lions, you're looking at a couple hundred dollars just to form Voltron. Maybe about three to four hundred. Um, these lions, like I said, black lion goes for about forty. Uh, the rest range anywhere from thirty to forty dollars. They are a little bit smaller than black lion. Uh, this Voltron was forty dollars at Target. All right, guys, I'm back with my review of Voltron. Ultimate Voltron from the Playmates toy line from Voltron Legendary Defender. What we have here is the instructions. Uh, batteries are included with this figure. It takes three AAA batteries to replace them. It's on the back. Just remove the wings, unscrew, and replace the batteries. 
there are, if this is anything like the other Voltron figures, there are tons and tons of zip ties. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Uh, I'm going to try and do it as carefully as possible, and I will be back with the figure review. All right, guys, we're back. There is a little bit of assembly required with this figure. As you can see, the wings are completely separate. But just like with Black Line, which actually, I'm wondering if these are pretty much the exact same wings. Uh, they're a little bit bigger than Black Line's wings. As you can see, but you might be able to swap them out. Let's go ahead and give that a try real quick. Yes. You can put them bigger wings on Black Line, and it will look fine. As well as you can probably put smaller wings on Voltron and it'll look fine. Alright, so let's go ahead and put the wings on here. They just snap into the back. There are little square peg holes on the back here. Just snap right into. And there is the same articulation that had Black Lion's, or that Black Lion had. Let's see if I can freeze these guys. So, you've also got Voltron's blazing sword, which goes into his right hand, and it does fit pretty securely. Um, do the shake test. Holds in there pretty good. We'll go ahead and put Green Lion's missile into Green Lion's mouth. There's a hole in there, it just pops in there just like that. Closes his mouth. Uh, is the shield detachable? It doesn't seem to be. Now we go on the offensive. As you can see, it does say a lot of phrases. I love the paint job on this character. Uh, it looks like there might be a little bit of paint trouble on the uh, snout of the black lion um, but that can also be attributed to battle damage since this is a battle damage figure as you can see there's battle damage here there 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 on the shield on the legs Looks like claw marks from a row beast. Let's go ahead and turn that off for now. There's the battery compartment there. Like I said, three AAA batteries. Um, there is some scuffing. I don't know if it's just with my figure or if it's with all of them. But there is some minor scuffing there. Uh, like I've said before with the black line... I wish they would have painted all the forehead of Voltron blue along with the nose because the original version did have it all blue. It wasn't just, you know, eyeliner. The colors are very bright and vibrant. Uh, looks like the chest piece may light up. In fact, let's go ahead and try that out. Form yep. Voltron! The eyes light up, so does the chest piece. We'll go back over the uh, the words and or the phrases and uh, all that a little bit later. Right now, let's go ahead and take the blazing sword out, and let's go into articulation. As you can, as I said before, the wings do have the same exact articulation as Black Lion. <laughs> Having a little bit of problems with them standing. They go out. They fold in. They flap. 
They're on a slight ratchet joint, it appears. Not too bad. The head does go up that far and down that far. Sorry, I need to keep looking back and forth, making sure I'm staying in frame. Uh, you have the arms, which go up, and they are on a ratchet joint. Then there's a ratchet joint at the elbow. You can go back that far, forward that far, almost 90 degrees. Same with green line, that far and that far. And of course, he does have the missile inside his uh, mouth, which as you can see right here, there's a button to be able to fire that out. I'll, I'll demonstrate that a little bit later. Uh, also, if you move all the way around, uh, ratchet joint once again, same with green line. Their mouths do open and close. Red Lions is on a spring because he has to hold the blazing sword. Green Lions, it just clicks back and forth. Press that once to open it. You press it again to fire the rocket. We won't do that just yet. There is no ab crunch, no waist articulation. The legs move forward about that far. They move back about that far. They can move out. Do a little split, complete split pose. There we go. The knees are once again on a ratchet joint. Uh, I'd say almost 90 degrees, about maybe 80 degrees. You do have ankle tilt on both blue and yellow lines. You can also move the toes, which is the head of the line, and the neck of the line, which is the heel. That comes on a ratchet joint. Uh, the head is also on a small ratchet joint. So, you can get quite a bit of posability out of him. You can rock back and forth. Move front to back. But he is pretty top heavy. So you have to be careful how you set this guy. See if I can get him posed right. It, it is very difficult to get him posed just right to stand. There we go. The heels have to be completely flat and flush with the heads of the line in order to get him to stand. It's not that difficult. It just takes a little bit of practice. Uh, like I said, the shield does not come off. It doesn't appear to anyway. Now let's go ahead and try out this green line cannon. All right. So like I said, you press this button once to open the mouth. And again, to fire. it doesn't fire very far. It pretty much just goes straight down. Let's see if we can get some uh, distance on this thing. There we go. There's some distance to it. It really all depends on how you have the arm angled. The higher you aim the arm, the farther it's going to go. Simple physics. But if you have it straight down or straight ahead, like so, then it's, it, it's okay. It launches okay. Um, of course, this does have small pieces, so it's not for younger kids. And... I guarantee, nine times out of ten, 
the missile is one of the first things to be lost. So with that being said, let's try out Blazing Sword. As you can see, the Blazing Sword here does have that transparent blue plastic. Uh, once again, it is nothing like the original 80s Blazing Sword. Uh, I still would have preferred the original Blazing Sword. But I guess this is kind of reminiscent of that. This part here kind of looks similar to the original. <clears throat> you can see the red, silver paint, black paint. Very good paint job. I don't see hardly any paint bleeding at all on this sword. Clips right into Red Lion's mouth like so. There you have it. Ultimate Voltron from Voltron Legendary Defender. Now, as promised, let's go over the sounds. Like I said, there is a button just right here. And a switch in the back to turn it on and off. So there you have it. There's all the audio tracks. I believe, yeah, there's only 15 audio tracks. Pretty good figure. Like I said, a little bit of paint problems, but that can be attributed to battle damage. Uh, the, the horns, ears, whatever you want to call them. Officially, they're known as the horns because in lion mode, they're the ears, and then in warrior mode, they come out and form horns. So uh, They do not articulate at all uh, there that's all the head does is up slightly down slightly uh, like I said the arms everything is on a ratchet joint just about <clears throat> uh, very good figure uh, the only thing you really have to worry about like I said is when standing him make sure the heel is flush with the front so that you can get decent pose and that he'll stay upright uh, it does take a phillips head screwdriver to remove the battery casing overall i'm pretty pleased with this it's my first full voltron figure uh like i said let's compare him to uh the black line here like i said you can transport or transplant the wings of this voltron with the wings of the black line so you can swap them out. The both wing, both sets of wings have the same exact articulation. Um, the only thing this Voltron does not have is the tail of the black line, uh, because when this black line forms Voltron, the tail just sits like that. Voltron does not obviously have that. He can. Kind of, <laughs> he can kind of ride Black Lion, but uh, <laughs> as you can see, it's <laughs> if his legs went up a little bit further, he could probably ride Black Lion a lot better. But you know, it is what it is. He wasn't meant to ride Black Lion since Black Lion is obviously the center of Voltron. I would like to see at some point in the series, uh, maybe in season three or four, uh, I would like to see them do the same thing with Voltron that Voltron Force did and have all the different lines be able to form the center of Voltron. Uh, I really enjoyed that aspect. It created a lot of great possibilities for Voltron. <clears throat> a lot of great toy possibilities too. I mean... 
the sky's the limit with transformable figures and combiner figures, you know. If they can find a way to construct each of the lines to where obviously black line would have to do the most because it would have to be able to form not only the center of Voltron, but also each arm as well as each leg if they went the route to where any of the other lines could form the center. Um, and of course, the size difference. Uh, currently, Black Lion is the largest of the uh, lions in the toy line. So they would have to make them all the same size, which could get a little difficult when combining them. So they may have to do alternate lions, um, which, again, would be great from a sales standpoint because they would be able to sell more and more toys. Say you wanted to form green center. You would need a green line that's the same size as black line, but you would also need a black line that's the same size as green line. So you would have to buy all the individual lines several times over to be able to form the, uh, you know, the alternate modes. Uh, I also hope they sell, they make the uh, Castle of Lions as well. That would be a cool, uh, cool toy being as how it's a ship in the series. So... Um, there's not really much else I can say about this. Uh, the articulation is pretty great. Uh, I wish they would have made it a little bit easier to balance. Um, let's see if it holds up to the shake test. All right, did pretty good. Um, because if it does fall... It, it feels kind of hollow, so it might break. <clears throat> um, so yeah, there's not really much more I can say about this figure. It's it's a great toy. Um, if you really want a Voltron and you're not able to find all the lions right away, just go out to Walmart, Target, Amazon, whatever. Pick your up. Pick yourself up the Ultimate Voltron. It do, it's not a combinable figure, but it is what it is. You can <clears throat> you can play with them as Voltron. Use them as I'm going to, and you just set them on your shelf, just to say you have Voltron. Uh, stay tuned for more. I will be reviewing the Aaron Gilbert 2016 Ghostbusters. Funko Pop Movies Vinyl Figure, number 304. Tune in then. If you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.